Hi everyone, Nicole here with Estes Education. This is part two of our Alpha Rocket Build series. If you need to start with part one, there's a link in the description below. In part two, we'll be working on marking the body tube, attaching the fins, and attaching the launch lug. Let's get started. All right, next up, we are going to mark the body tube and then attach the fins and launch lug. So you'll need body tube, your balsa wood fins, launch lug, as well as sandpaper, ruler, pencil, hobby knife, and glue, and your instructions. So first thing for marking the body tube, you're gonna need to cut out this fin alignment guide from your instructions. All right, so you'll take your fin alignment guide and wrap it around your body tube and just attach it with some clear tape. Make sure it's really tight around there and that it is even lined up. Then we're gonna use this to make, make marks on the body tube for our fin lines. You can see FL is for the fins and then LL is for the launch lug. Next, we want to extend these lines so you can remove your marking guide and we just wanna use a straight edge to make these lines really straight. So you can either use a door frame, a, a ruler as a straight edge, or I'm gonna use this fin marking guide, tube marking guide. All right, so now you should have marks, nice straight lines extending up your body tube. So before you attach the fins, you want to prep them. So you're gonna sand both sides of the balsa wood first. Next, you'll use the hobby knife to pop these out of the balsa wood. Just be really careful and gentle. Next, you're going to line all the fins up together and sand the edges. For improved aerodynamics, you can also round the edges of your just your leading edge. So if you imagine this is on the rocket, the edge that will be kind of cutting through the air, you can actually sand that to have a rounded finish. All right, so now that you have your rounded edges, your fins are ready to attach to the body tube. For attaching your fins to the body tube, Make sure these ones actually have little dots on them for the side that attaches to the rocket, but just follow the pictures, make sure you're um, attaching it on the right side, you're not doing it like this or something. So in order to get these to stick well, it's really helpful to actually put a layer of glue on this first and then just let it dry for about a minute. It'll help the glue be more tacky. All right, so now that this glue has dried for about a minute, I'm gonna apply a second layer and then attach it onto the body tube. All right, so when you're putting the fin on there, just make sure that you are really lining it up straight with the line that you made previous. And then you can let that dry for a second while you prep the next fin. So again, I'm gonna put a layer on here first, let it dry to become more tacky before we put it on. Okay, so now once that's dried, again, we'll apply our second layer and then attach it to the body tube. And again, we'll just set that down for a second while we get the third fin ready. All right, second layer is going on. And with fins, with glue, less really is more. So if you have too much glue, it's gonna be really slippery on that body tube and it's gonna be difficult for it to set. So less is more. 
All right, so once you have your three fins on, then it, go back to your instructions and use this fin alignment guide to set your rocket up above it and then look from above and see if they line up correctly. All right, so once you have aligned your fins, then you wanna set this somewhere safe or set it kind of upright like this and just let those dry for a minute. So while these fins are drying, we can also attach the launch lug. So that's our other line we have on the body tube. And it's the instructions say to go to about one and three quarter inches up from the end. And then we're just gonna put our launch leg. Make sure that you get your launch leg parallel with the body tube. It doesn't, we don't want it to be tilted at all cause that's gonna affect how it actually takes off of the launch pad. So I'm just gonna put some glue on here and attach it. So you can kind of hold it there till the glue sets a little bit and then let the glue dry. All right, so once your glue has dried a little bit on these, then you can add glue fillets, which are just gonna add some more stability to all of these joints. So what you do is you're just gonna add a thin kind of line of glue and then really push it into that joint, wiping off any extra as you go. All right, so I've added fillets on the fins and then I'm also gonna add some on the launch lug. Okay, so make sure that you don't get any glue inside the launch lug as you do that. And then it's a good idea since you've just kind of pushed your fins a little bit, just check your alignment again with the alignment guide to make sure that they are still lined up well. and then you can turn it upside to let them dry. All right, that was part two. You guys are doing great. Feel free to grab a snack, take a break, and we'll see you in part three. Hey.